CCSA is a ransomware that belongs to the ransomware family called STOP. It encrypts files, renames them by appending the CCSA extension, and creates files named readme.txt containing a ransom note. The ransom note claims files on the compromised computer were encrypted using strong encryption and asks the victim to contact the malware author via email in order to recover the affected files. Renaming encrypted files, changing their extension or transferring them to another computer will not help, the files will remain encrypted. This guide will demonstrate how to remove CCSA ransomware, three ways to recover encrypted files. The first thing to do is find and remove the ransomware. It's easy to do, just follow the instructions in this guide. I advise you to disconnect your computer from the internet. Press Ctrl, Alt, Dell keys together. Click Task Manager. Select the Processes, tab and kill the malware process. To find a ransomware-related process, pay attention to the process icon and its name. To kill a malicious process, right-click on it and select End Task. Keep in mind that the process name is unique, in each case of infection. Select the Startup tab, look for something similar to the one shown in the video, right-click to it and select Disable. Type Task Scheduler in the search bar. Click Task Scheduler app in the search results. Click Task Scheduler library in the left panel. On the right panel, right-click to Time Trigger Task and select Delete. Run Task Manager and select the Startup tab. Right-click to the HHWQ startup entry and select Open File Location. A directory containing one file will open in front of you. This file is the HHWQ virus. It needs to be removed. If you try to delete it immediately, then you will not succeed, since this file is protected from deletion. To delete this file, you need to do the following. Right-click on the file, select Properties. In the window that opens, select Security tab. Next, click the Advanced button below. Click Disable Inheritance. In the Block Inheritance dialog box that opens, select the first item. In the Permission Entries list, select Deny Everyone, click Remove button and then OK. Close the File Properties window. You should now be able to remove the HHWQ virus. Right-click on the file and select Delete. To recover encrypted files you will need several free utilities. We recommend downloading them to a USB stick. Link to programs in the video description. Decrypt STOPDJVU is a free software that can decrypt files that were encrypted with an offline key. Unfortunately, files encrypted with an online key cannot be decrypted. In this case, I'm trying to decrypt files encrypted with an offline key, and although this fails, decryption may be possible in the future. If the decryptor did not help you decrypt the files, then this does not mean that there is no more hope. Fortunately, there are several ways to recover encrypted files. There is one very useful feature in modern versions of Windows OS. Windows automatically makes copies of the files you use. These copies are called volume shadow copies and are not directly visible to the user. Shadow Explorer will allow you to easily access these files and thus restore the original state of the encrypted files. Of course, not everything is so simple, unfortunately, very often ransomware deletes these copies, thereby preventing simple recovery of encrypted files. But in some cases, copies of the files remain and allow you to quickly restore the files. Therefore, in our opinion, you need to try this method.
Another very good way to recover encrypted files is to use a tool that finds and recovers deleted files. We recommend using PhotoRec. This is one of the few programs that allows you to do this for free. The reason that you can recover encrypted files using this method is simple. When you or any program, including ransomware, deletes a file, this file is not deleted. Windows marks it as deleted and hides it. PhotoRec finds such deleted files and restores them. Thus, at the output you get files in an unencrypted state. The only thing I want to draw your attention to is that the less you use your computer after a ransomware infection, the better your chances of recovering encrypted files. Subscribe to this channel to learn about new methods for decrypting and recovering encrypted files.